Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So, as the title says, you can see it. I have another Delilah box, um, and I'm totally, like, I was surprised when I got this. I've, I've had this box now for a week. And I haven't opened it um, because I wanted to make this video, but of course, with everything going on with the pandemic, my entire family is home, my son is home, so it's kind of hard to make videos, so my posting schedule might change. I'm still working it out, but it might possibly change just because recording videos is a little bit too much. I do have about three videos that need to be edited. I have a vlog with a haul coming. I have... Um, two Bible studies coming because if you guys don't know over on the Facebook group I decided that I wanted to get back into doing live sessions with you ladies um or guys so over in the DOI Facebook group we are going through a few of the Psalms we have already gone through Psalms 1 and Psalm 8 excuse me Psalm 1 and Psalm 8 and then on the 17th and 18th we'll be going through Psalm 23 and Psalm 121 I do have notes for each of these individual Psalms they're only two dollars I didn't want to charge an arm and a for that you know it's it's a lot going on so just two dollars um i haven't done the psalms 23 notes yet so depending on if it's over five pages it might be three dollars but about two three dollars um and yeah you can get those just by going down below to the link to purchase on my blog um but yeah so this is a haul i'm so excited to open this up so if you guys don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about the lovely delilah box <laughs> I love the Delilah box. If you guys have not seen my unboxing, just click the on screen and go to my playlist. I have four unboxings, right? Yeah, so the Delilah box used to come inside of boxes, but now she hand sews her bags that they come in. So let me show you guys my bags. I will be giving two of these away to my mom, though. So this first one I got in December, and it is a Christmassy winter theme, red with white snowflakes. I'm going to be giving this one to my mother because red is her favorite color. So... I'm going to give this to her, and she's also a winter baby, so that's going to my mom. Then in January, I got this one, which is red, and it says love all on it. And this one is super soft. For February, the, the month of love, I got this one. Snoopy and the Crew. Of course, it's peanuts, but um, it's Snoopy and the Crew, and it's so cute. Then in March, I got these donuts. So I'm super, super excited. Okay, so let me give you some brief information from what I can remember off the top of my head. So the founder and owner of the Delilah box is Taylor Hill, and she just does a phenomenal job with these boxes. She curates these boxes with biblical fiction books, Christian fiction books, nonfiction books, um, and she also includes other things that will be tangible. I know the last box I got was a soap. Actually, I can show you my soap because I've been using it. So we got this soap. It's goat milk, I believe. Goat milk soap. And this soap is amazing. It's it's phenomenal. Um, so she has like soaps. She has books on her website. Uh, the website is updated now. It is called Shop Grace and Delilah, if I'm not mistaken. Again, everything will be linked down below. But I am totally like in love and I was not expecting to get this in the mail honestly guys i mentioned this in my march unboxing that march was supposed to be the last time that i got a box because that's what we had discussed um or rather that's what she had emailed me about that she was going to send me the boxes for january to march and when i got mail i was like wait a minute now like i was i was shocked so i, I do need to actually send her an email and contact her on instagram and just say thank you like taylor if you're watching this thank you so much i was not expecting it but as i said on your instagram this was going to be epic and I'm like so excited to open it because this is a book that I really wanted to get my hands on. It is a new book by an author that I have read from and it's part of her new trilogy I believe and um every time I got the other boxes most of the books I already had biblical fiction wise because you know book nerd but all the books in this box or bag rather I don't own so I'm super excited about that. So if you want any more information, I'll leave what the Delilah box is exactly about because I, I cannot tell you at the top of my head right now. Sorry. Um, but I also have to, like, make this video a little quickly just because my son is on his way home from his dad's. So, yes. Um, here is my box or my bag. So, this time it is this gorgeous color with lemons on it. I think this is so cute. 
I might keep this one <laughs> and give my mother both the right ones. I don't know. Like, I like this one, but I may pass this one to my mom as well and give her the two right ones. I think I'll give her these two. Because I, I kind of... It's not that I, I like women's like that, but I, I like the color. It's really pretty. Sorry, my bag was sitting on the floor waiting for me to record, so yeah. So let's just jump in. I'm so excited. And there's loose leaf tea in this bag. <laughs> we love. Um, so the first thing I got is this. First of all, as a makeup artist, a makeup lover, <laughs> I love this. Packaging is everything and cute. Sorry, guys. So cute. Let me fix my lighting a little bit so everything is not too dark. Okay, I hope this lighting is a little bit better. It's kind of blinding me right now, especially since I'm not wearing my glasses, but it's okay. But um, again, this packaging is everything to me as a makeup lover. Um, It's lipsticks and it says Boss Babe and Fabulous on it. Like, I'm loving it. But um, inside are these cute tweezers. <laughs> I've seen these tweezers everywhere, especially with Planner Woman, um, Planner Babes. The planner community i've seen these everywhere and i've always wanted one so now i have one and i'm super super excited for that she is gorgeous so we have tweezers and i'm loving it okay what else what else what else okay so this is about the tea so the tea i have is the woman's red tint tea and it is right here I am a tea lover, a coffee drinker. I actually have my coffee here. I should probably take a sip, but it's super hot. I'm drinking um, Bustelo Cuban coffee. So good. But um, the Grace and Delilah Woman's Red Tint Tea. It's relaxing, and relaxing calming, and soothing. Um, this has raspberry leaf, nettle, lemon peel, lemon verbena linden flower cinnamon rose petal and stevia so it looks to be an herbal tea yeah this is an herbal tea i'm so excited you guys can like see the tea leaves in there the tea lover in me is excited on the little paper it says an all-natural blend of herbs the women's brew combines flowers fruits and leaves to achieve a balanced tonic for health and happiness rich in iron this profusion of ingredients includes raspberry leaf vitex or bidix, I think that's how you say it, nettles, linden flower, and cinnamon with fruity and floral notes of luscious lemon and radiant rose. The final lingering sweet note is stevia, one of nature's sweetest plants. You will love this relaxing sweet brew. So, I'm definitely going to have to include this in another video when I make a video. Um, can't ex um, I, <laughs> no words, okay? No words. What's next? Okay, so we have our notepad. Love these notepads. This one has Colossians 317 with a little flower, and it's white. I have now four, four of these, four or five of these, and I love them. I use them to write little notes. Pen, of course. Yes, we have a pen. Oh, this is different. So it says Grace and Delilah on it. This is definitely different from her usual pens. I just want to see how it writes. Oh, this is a gel pen. I love it. We love gel pens. I love gel pens. Okay. Okay, what's this? Bookmarks. Okay. I love her handmade bookmarks. She literally makes these by hand. I have my other one over there. I do laminate them. So what I do is I normally take the ribbon off, laminate it a couple of times just because with this on it, it does stick up sometimes. It's, it's, it's hard to laminate with things like this, but I am going to laminate it a couple times. Um, then I'm going to punch a hole in it and stick this back in and probably hot glue it so that it stays as tight as possible. But I love this color. I just, I think it's so cute. And again, this gives you that handmade kind of touch. I love it. Truly love it. Next, we have, what's this? It says, Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound. It looks like a little postcard, and I think this is cute. I'm actually probably going to add this to my prayer wall. Um, add a prayer in, on the back of it and stick it on my prayer wall. You guys have seen the, I think you've seen the vlog of my prayer wall. It should be up. If you haven't, click the on the screen and go see that. Um, another magnet. Um, this one says, Dirty and Clean. That's weird. <laughs> but one side says, Clean. The other side says, Dirty. I do have my other one here. If I can get it. I have this one, which is this girl runs on cupcakes and Jesus, and I have another one. It's not a magnet though. 
I'm going to put a magnet on the back though. And it just says, don't drive faster than your guardian angel can. And I think it was a keychain, but mine's came a little broken. Um, so I'm just going to hot glue a magnet on the back and stick it for a magnet. So I like these. Just stick that magnet back there. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing extra. Okay, so I'm taking everything out. Again, here is a close-up of the bag. I love this color. I really do like this color. I think I'm going to give my mom the two red ones and keep this one. This color is really pretty. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we have exactly what's in the Delilah box. So this basically just tells you what's in the April box. Um, and I'll get to that in a second. Then we have this booklet um, of information. She normally types out some information about her, her personal um, experiences, her personal thoughts. Sometimes they're like little challenges. This one has a bunch of scriptures. So I'll be reading through that. That's awesome. And it also has a coupon code for the Grace and Delilah um, website which i will be ordering from because she has some books on there i want some more some more of her soaps she has some of those square soaps she has these popsicle kind of soaps so cute um and they're literally just hand soap that you can use um the bars though and they're like so cute so i am going to be placing an order with her soon she does have candles now i'm a candle girl candle girl all the way so yeah i'm gonna check those out and use the code that she sent so we have that then we have this journal if you guys don't know, I'm a journal lover, journal hoarder. I like journals a lot. Um, I use them for everything. Journaling, prayer journaling, Bible study, notes, book journals. Like, journals are my thing. I love them. Love this one. It comes with a band on it, and it's just nice. It says, learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. It's by Albert Einstein. So, yes. And the paper in here is pretty nice. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, so I'm just going to go with the rest of my journal collection because I have a lot of journals. Um, and then we get into the books. So everything in here, it says you get your two books, your writing journal, the dishwasher magnet, the bookmark, um, frameable art. So that's what this is. This is art that you can put in a frame, but I'm probably just going to stick it on my prayer wall. Um, you get the herbal tea, notepad, the tweezers, and the brochure. Great. Got all of that. So the first book I have here is by Jen Wise. This is The Bright Life. 40 invitations to reclaim your energy for the full life. And first of all, that just looks delicious, number one. Um, Jen holds an MA in theology. So she went to a theologian school or theologian seminary school. And for me, this just looks like a devotional, honestly, like a 40-day devotional. But I love the detailing in it. Like, oh my God, so cute. I love, I love the detailing and it's giving me ideas. If you guys don't know, I, I don't think I've mentioned it per se. Um, I haven't sat down with you ladies and like talked about it, but I am working on a few books. Um, the Lord has put it in my heart to work on some books. One specifically being a devotional that I'm working on. The other one will be coming soon. Um, he's given me eight books to write eight. It's a matter of actually doing it. I am in the process of writing my devotional. Um, so this definitely, I love the way it's set up with the colors. My book is definitely going to be more lavender and pinks. I'm just saying. So we, you know, lavender and pink is definitely, lavender, pink, and rose gold are the colors for DOI. Um, but I just, I like the fade colors. And so it's giving me ideas of how I'm going to set up ideas. But, um, let me read the back. It said, life, life takes it out of you, but the reset you've been desperate for it's within reach writer and bible teacher jen wise knew that holistic faith that reaches into every facet of life is what brings grace and renewal but she didn't begin to live this truth until her word world fracture excuse me so as she searched scripture for a better way she discovered jesus's invitation for just that small steps able to lead us into a bright new beginning so to the woman who feels her all is never enough the bright life is your invitation to a new start you were created to be healthy, strong, vibrant, and to rest in the unforced rhythms of grace Jesus so lovingly makes available to us all. Come along and learn how to avoid habits that seem smart but are deceptively self-sabotaging. Pick up habits of wholeness that actually stick and try surprising ways to practice kindness toward yourself and generosity towards others. I'm not going to read the last paragraph, but um, yeah, devotional in my mind. So I'm excited and I love the cover so cute so the book that i was like super super stoked for because this is actually a new release and i don't know if it came out in march or if it's coming out in april or if it's out already so i'll put on the screen exactly when it was released if it's released but 
Daughter of Kena by Angela Hunt. Now, we all know I have like a love-hate type of relationship with Angela Hunt, okay? I have read officially two novels from Angela Hunt. I own most of her books, mind you. Most of them. I've read two of them, gave both of those four stars. So I'm going to hunt for a five-star read from Angela Hunt. I have read Esther and Delilah. Both were phenomenal books, but I've given both a four-star rating. I have to read Bathsheba. I also have her other series, um, The Silent Years. I also have the Apostle Paul book. So I have a bunch of books that I could read from her, and I'm like hoping one of them will be a five-star read. I really have high hopes for Jerusalem's Queen, only because that book cover is stunning. We'll see. But um, yes, I have Daughter of Cana. This is the first book in the Jerusalem Road. So excited to dive into this. This one is about, okay, so I'm going to read what the back of it says. It says, how will walking in Yeshua's footstep forever change her life? Thomas and Tasmin, I think that's how you say her name, Tasmin, twin siblings hired to oversee a wedding feast in Cana, worry when the host runs out of wine. Until a guest tells Tasmin to have the servants fill the pitchers by the gate with waters from the cistern sister reluctantly she obeys and is amazed when rainwater turns into the finest wine ever tasted in cana when thomas impulsively decides to follow the teacher from nazareth the twins argue bitter bitterly tasman refuses to be abandoned or to let her brother be taken in by a magician prophet when he departs anyway she decides to follow the nazarene's group abided aided by Jude, younger brother to Yeshua of Nazareth, and do whatever she must to mend the fractured relationship, reveal the truth, and bring her brother home. First of all, you're taking John 4. Is it John 4 or was it John 3? I think it was John 4. No, I'm wrong. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this basically Jesus' first miracle with changing water into wine. You're taking that. John, first of all, is my favorite, favorite book of the Bible number one okay so you're taking my favorite book of the bible you're taking an awesome scene in the first miracle that jesus performed from the bible you're giving me twin siblings you're giving me thomas you're giving me jude i don't really read much about thomas and jude especially um they're like not famous people from the bible but i'm interested to see where this goes and you have a girl who is like hesitant to believe that jesus is who he is like no words no words um i have high hopes high hopes for this and i probably should not have high hopes because i notice when i have high hopes my my hopes don't ever like it doesn't never it you you get you get what i'm saying all right guys i'm excited for this book so i finally have a book i'm super excited about reading from angela hunt like this is definitely on my top definitely want to get through her other books but i think i might read this book first but i feel like if i read this book and i give it a five stars i'm definitely gonna look at how the books like why so i'm gonna wait i'm gonna finish reading the dangerous beauty series um with reading bathsheba and then i'm going to dive into the silent years and then i'm going to dive into this i i don't know i, I don't know if i could wait that long i first of all bethany house does an amazing job with their covers like they know how to do their women on their book covers y'all i love the neutral tones and that pop of coral is that coral or orange whatever it is it's just i just i love and i love the blurriness of the back the white text is that spine is cute the back i will say um bethany just they're excellent as, as a whole when it comes to their books they can do a book cover really well especially biblical fiction i have i don't think i've ever found a cover from them that i was disappointed in like all their covers are pretty and just looking at them on my shelf makes me happy but that also means now i have to reorganize my bookshelves but i also found out that i'm gonna have to take all my books down soon which i'm a little sad about because i believe if i'm not mistaken i have well over a thousand books <sighs> Yes, I said it. Well over a thousand books in my room, if I'm not mistaken. I have an app where I put all of my books into the app. And um, just focusing on, like, my nonfiction, I'm sorry, not my nonfiction, my um, non-Christian books, like my secular books, I have about 700 plus books. I haven't cataloged my books in almost two, three months. So that's why I'm saying a thousand, because I also have books under my bed <laughs> inside of a tub, like a little a bin. <sighs> Because my landlord, um, her, the, the husband is coming down to repaint the entire apartment. But he's going to go room by room. So I'm dreading 
him doing my room, I might have to have him do my room first because <laughs> I gotta take all these books down. Like, all of them. But I've also been thinking about packing up some of my books because we do plan to move. Um, so I was thinking about just getting boxes and packing some of my books up. Especially the ones like I'm not going to read immediately. Um, within like the next six months, I can just pack those up. So that's what I've been thinking about. And maybe that's a sign that I should do it. Because my bookshelves are bending. Um, I do flip my shelves. I rotate them every few months so that they don't bend and break. But I think I'm going to have to do that because of that. But i'm going on a tangent anyway i'm excited for the delilah box i highly recommend it to you ladies like highly if you're looking for a christian a christian woman's subscription box that deals with fictional books and christian nonfiction, definitely would recommend it i love everything that taylor does with her boxes she gives you amazing books number one phenomenal books she gives you useful things like bookmarks everyone needs a bookmark okay everyone i i, I like bookmarks okay I make my own bookmarks. I download pictures and laminate them. I like buying bookmarks. I think bookmarks are essential and they're pretty. Um, everyone needs notepads and pens. Like you always need something to write on and something to write with. Just saying. Um, tea is one of those things that I think everybody can love. And especially because we're in the spring. Even though it doesn't feel like spring because it's been raining and it's been cold and it's been snowing. I don't understand Mother Nature. I don't get it but tea is one of those things that everyone can drink um whether you make it for yourself you give it to someone you make a big pot of you know make brew it hot and then make it cold whatever um pictures like these are always nice to have they're inspirational they're they're motivational um and they're christian based on top of that now like i said for me i am going to actually stick this on my prayer wall and write a prayer on the back of this so um stuff like this you can definitely frame it if you want um, but I personally will be putting this on my prayer wall. A journal, like, you always, like I said, need some way to write. We, we like journaling, ladies. You always need paper, okay? You always need paper. And then books. I mean, if you get the Delilah box, I would assume you like books. And you get two to three books every month. Um, I definitely, like, I think of all of the books that I've gotten, this is probably my favorite biblical fiction i've received from her just because the other ones i've already had and i did gift those away um and then my second favorite book would be the really bad girls of the bible by liz curtis hicks because that's a book that i definitely wanted for a long time um i believe there are like two or three more books that i really want to get there's one on noah's wife but she also has one called mara that i'm also interested in because i think it's going to be an interesting book to read so she has a lot of awesome books so i'll leave a link to where you can subscribe to the um box down below i'll also leave a link to the website as a whole and also to where you can just purchase books if you're interested in just the books um and i know that her domestic rate for shipping is five dollars and if i'm not mistaken the delilah box is about 29 dollars so that's 34 dollars total but even still i mean when you're looking at it, when you're getting two, three books, this book alone is $16.99. All of Bethany House's books are $16.99. Okay, $16, excuse me, because it's $15.99. This one is $17. I mean, you're literally just paying for two books and getting a bunch of other goodies for free. So I think it's a phenomenal deal. Um, and I think she has a new deal now when you get a certain amount of boxes, you can get a free candle. Not much, I'm not sure, but I've seen it on her Instagram. I'll leave Instagram down below as well. But do I recommend the Delilah box? Yes, I, I do. Yes, I do. I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. It is phenomenal. It is amazing. And if you're a book nerd like myself, you'll love it. But I'm going to end this video here. I am now going to go do some studying. Um, I'm going to go study Psalms 23 and Psalms 121. Again, if you're interested in those um, Bible studies I've, I've done, you can click down below to go to the videos in the Facebook group. If you don't want to join the Facebook group, if you're not on Facebook, those videos will be coming to YouTube really soon. Um, I already have them downloaded. I just have to edit them into the software and then upload it. So again, links to the, the study notes are down below. Psalms 1 study note is a total of five pages it's two dollars for that and the psalms eight study note is a total of four pages it's two dollars for that and of course you guys know my notes are verse by verse breakdowns they include cross references questions and also a page full of definitions of words that um, are interesting so 
yes that is it for this video i'm going to end it here i miss you ladies i love you ladies and you guys as well i thank you so much like the people that are subscribing to my channel thank you so much you guys do not i don't like you guys really don't understand how much it means to me because this is it's not a job because I, I really don't get paid from youtube but it's a job in that it keeps me busy and it helps me to get the word of god out there and i'm working i have i have like a lot of ideas i have a lot of ideas and um i'm working on them really really working on them and i want to start doing live videos on youtube i'm not sure how i'm going to do that but i'm definitely interested in doing some live videos on youtube maybe doing a live bible study on youtube that's an idea but um yes that's it and i'm gonna end this video here so if you are not subscribed to the family subscribe become a daughter of increase or a son of increase join the family we are very loving we're very um just we, we love on one another period at the end of the day i want this to be a safe place for anyone if you have any questions comments ideas suggestions you want to communicate with people you want to add people on instagram leave all your information down below okay all of it down below and if you are subscribed click the bell to say notified and i'll see you guys in the next video bye